Pacquiao, and I see myself fighting uh, Devin Haney. May laban nga ba si Garcia laban kay Pacquiao? Panoorin nyo hanggang sa huli. Bago yan, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell. Isang 21 years old na boxer si Ryan Garcia na may 20 wins at wala pang talo na nagbabalak hamunin ang ating pambansang kamao. Inaasahan nga niyang makaharap si Senator Manny sa 2021 na siyang pinakamalaking achievement sa kanyang karir. Aagawin daw ng batang boksingerong ito ang baton para maging next big star sa larangan ng boxing. Kung mangyayari ang laban nila sa ating kampiyon, ito ay sa timbang na 140 pounds, sabi ni Garcia. At inaasahan niyang papayag dito si Manny Pacquiao na ibaba ang kanyang timbang Surprising ika nga ang prediction ni Garcia na makalaban si Pacquiao sa 2021 na kung saan hindi pa nga ito nakalaban sa light welterweight. Walang sino man daw maliban kay Garcia ang magiging boxing big star sa paghahamon niya kay Manny Pacquiao. Pero bago niya harapin si Pacquiao sa susunod na taon ay patutumbahin daw muna niya si Linares at Jebonta Davis. Ano ang reaksyon mo sa paghahamon ni Ryan Garcia kay Manny? Please comment below at mag-subscribe na din at i-click ang bell para ma-update kayo sa susunod nating sikat clips. Hold I already unveiled my, my plan. These, these dudes are trying to catch up with me. I already revealed. Look, I said I'm gonna fight Lenars, then I'm gonna fight Javante Dave. No, actually I said I was gonna fight Luke Campbell, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So I felt like I'm gonna fight Lenars, then... Uh, Then uh, Javon, Pachasa, Javante Davis, then I'm going to knock his ass out. And then in 2021, I see two things. Mm. I see two things. I don't know if it's going to be 100%, but I see me fighting Manny Pacquiao, and I see myself fighting uh, Devin Haney. What? Whoa! Wow. Hold on a it second. Makes, Manny no Pacquiao? Sense. It makes no sense, but I'm going to tell you, Freddie Rose told me that Manny Pacquiao could make 140. So wow. I feel like once I, once I get a real title and beat um, Javante Davis, and you notice I said real title, they don't have real title. Mm. They name, I'm the real champ, you're the fake champ. You're just holding my belts. He's a belt holder. He's not He's not a champion. You're a belt holder. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you're not a real champion. The only real champion right now is, I don't even think Lomachenko's a real champion at 135. Who the fuck did he fight? <laughs> I'm being, who the fuck did he fight? Let's be very honest and very clear right now. None of them are real champions at 135. Mm. The only thing that Lomachenko has is his background that helping him solidify himself as a champ. Mm -hmm. But in reality, 135 is open to grabs. Actually, I'm sorry. The only real, real champ in that division, I would say, is Telfimo Lopez. Because mm. mm. he beat Comey? Yeah, yeah, because he beat Comey and he fought his way to get that title. Lomachenko ain't the real champ. Um, so... Tefimo is the real champ in that weight class, but mm -hmm. he didn't really have to fight nobody to beat. I mean, who? I mean, Kamini. I guess Kamini is all right. Yeah. But he was he wasn't an animal. So, but I, I mean, I'll take that shit from him too. So I'm not I'm not really because he's short as fuck too. All these dudes are shorter than me, and they're not as talented as me. They're they're just they're okay. And I, I'll give Tefimo. He's an okay fighter with you know good IQ in the ring, but like I said, he's not talented enough to beat me or. I don't know. He just there's something there that he ain't gonna do. You know. And I love Pacquiao. Pacquiao is one of my inspirations. Mm -hmm. He's what I aspire to be in the ring. You know, Muhammad Ali, Manny Pacquiao. It's just Manny Pacquiao is so humble. Like I would have to get like that at an older age. Mm -hmm. You know, right now it's like I'm so hyped up. I want to prove myself. I'm hungry. You know, uh, that's gonna be later down the line. To mm -hmm. be like that, you know, I, I just don't have that in me right now. I'm just too hungry, you know what I mean? But I respect that he's that kind of man. Right. You know, and I and I and he's a godly man. I'm a godly man. We go to the same church. So it's he was a legend. He was the, the, the real legend. Floyd is a legend, of course, in boxing. But I don't know. He, he had a chance. Like, I don't know, inspire kids. Like, he did it in a different way, I guess, like with the money and everything. But, like, I'm looking to do stuff. You know, beyond boxing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, Manny Pacquiao did something beyond boxing. Floyd right. only did boxing. You know what I mean? So, uh, I feel like Manny Pacquiao needs to pass that torch to me. You know, I'm the only fight fighter that he could pass that to. 
There's nobody else. I'm sorry. They're, they only come once in a while. And, and I thank God that God put me in this position. You see me? Hey, I got the kids watching me. I got the grown people watching me. I got the, everybody watching. I got the world watching right now. Mm-hmm. There's not one fighter like me, brother. And is that for is that for no reason? No, but it's my job to work and keep working and keep taking advantage of it. I'm not letting it slip. I'm not going to let my purpose slip. There's nothing. Nobody's going to get in my way on that. Nobody. I don't care. You could fight it all you want. You're just not in the position to do it. But I thank God. See, it's not me. I, I always say thank God because, like, he just blessed me. Mm-hmm. And I got, now I'm blessed. So thank you, God. Salamat sa iyong panonood. Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe.